Hey, yo, what's going on guys? It's Mike Reed here and I'm back again with yet another tour review for you guys. So if you haven't read the title already, this one's going to be an interesting review and this, this review is going to be technically split into two parts. One of which is going to be this video on this product which uh, isn't, isn't a Beyblade at all actually, it's actually a launcher and the next one is also going to be a launcher. So, um, for part one of this review, let's get right into it, since this one's going to be fairly short. Today, as I said, we're looking at a launcher. This is the Japanese Beyblade Burst Super King, and in particular, this is the Korean version. At least, that's what the listing on Amazon said when I got this. This is the Right Sparking Launcher. So, right here on the box, we have the Super King logo right there, B165. We have the Takratomi, all of your logos right there. Then you have the Sparking a logo right there with the Beyblade logo. And then right here, you have your Sparking Launcher, which again is all in Korean, I believe. So, uh, yeah, I can. <laughs> if any of you in the audience can translate this, that would be great. It probably just says, you know, Sparking Launcher and all that stuff. And. You know, and if it, and if, and uh, the reason why I'm re actually reviewing this launcher is one because it's a it's a rather interesting launcher, and two to add on to that interesting part I mentioned just a moment ago, um, the interesting part is in the fact it's not in the launcher it's itself like you know like it does left or right or something like that it's actually something completely different but we're going to get into that in a moment and a uh, key word of what the gimmick is going to be is actually in the series season name itself sparking yeah so i think i probably gave given away the gimmick now didn't i anyway moving over to the side of the box here we actually get a really nice shot of the sparking launcher right there showing it ripping with the gimmick um, which I'm going to get into in a moment. And of course it shows the customization with the other Sparking Beyblades in this release. Also something else I forgot to mention at the front of the box. Let's spin around to the front of that again. There is actually a Beyblade under there. And that Beyblade is Super Hyperion. So I will be showing that off with him as well. And how it would work. Oh, obviously I'm not going to launch it here on video as... You know, I don't want to break anything or break the launcher itself. And that's, and actually on that part of breaking, that is one major issue with this launcher in particular. So do be warned about that. But anyway, I'll, I'll elaborate more in a moment. But anyway, launcher series right there. We actually see the other launchers. We have the light launcher right here. We have the LR launcher. In particular, this is the one that came with Master Diabolos last season, at least um, at, the, at the time of this product's release it was. And then we have the current sparking launcher showing the stats there of like the power and the speed and all that good stuff. So that's really nice that they show you the differences there. On the back of the box, we do have some more logos and jargon right there with the Beyblade Burst sparking logos and stuff with the launcher right there showing how it would work with Super Hyperion. Right there also showing how to not launch and properly launch it. We do have more promotionals here. And then we have the gimmick explained right here, um, which I will be talking about more in a moment. And of course we have scanner bar right there, which of course I'm going to have to censor out there if, uh, by moving the camera because, you know, <laughs> obvious reasons. But anyhow, then we have the, the this little part here showing how to not pull the string because as I because as I keep saying, there is a way to use these string launchers that's not going to actually break them. But again, this launcher does have some major breaking issues. But anyway, moving the box out of the way. Oh, and also something I forgot to mention is at the bottom it has some more jargon, you know, warnings and stuff like that, and choking hazards, all that good stuff. But anyway, moving the box out of the way, and moving the camera, let's actually bring in the sparking launcher itself. So this is it, this is what you get in the set, is the sparking launcher. And it is a very, very nice launcher this is. All in all, it's a pretty solid launcher made mostly of plastic with clear plastic for the top and plastic for the little part there and that actually grips onto the bay. The launcher uh, ripcord itself is made of string, which is uh, like a nice 
durable string, um, and I put durable lightly. And the grip part itself, this little doohickey right here, is actually hard plastic. So, all in all, very, very nice here. And as you can see on the top, it does have the Beyblade logo and this little piece up in here, which is the main gimmick of this launcher, which is when you pull the string, as, a, as you guys will see, hold on, it will spark. Yeah, there's a little sparkler in it that sparks up this little spark wheel, making sparks come out. So, really, really cool gimmick. Now, it should be obvious that, you know, you shouldn't disassemble this launcher, and most importantly, if you do, if it does get broken to the point where the sparker is exposed, you know, obviously don't keep this near anything flammable or any sort of flammable liquids because, yeah, you could start a fire with this. <laughs> So, not that that was ever an issue with these sparking launchers, but, it, you know, that is still something you should consider when getting a sparking launcher, is that, uh, yeah, if this thing does get damaged, and trust me, it will, um, you know, you just want to be careful with the sparking bit, as, you know, that could be a possible hazard, obviously. And so, other than that, the sparking launcher doesn't do very much else, besides just launcher bays, and it does have ports on the three sides for launcher grips and stuff so that we could put launcher grips on it and so that we have something bigger to hold and launch it with and I probably should have brought out my launcher grips for this and you know as a matter of fact I might as well grab out a couple of those so I'm gonna be right back and once we're done with that then we're going to talk about the cons with this launcher and how this thing launches because there are a few cons about this launcher that I've seen from multiple reviewers that I want you guys to be aware of if you're going to actually go out and buy a Sparky launcher from Takara so BRB. Alright guys, so I couldn't find my regular grip launcher, uh, launcher grip, I should say. So in this case, I'm just going to demonstrate it with the one I could get on hand, um, you know, in a timely fashion, and that being this. This is the Beyblade Burst Cho Z, I believe this was released. This is the knuckle grip. So see, the idea with this is that you grab it, and then you can hold it like that. And also something else that's neat is if you use a Beyblade disc, forged disc, or your finger, you can pop this out and you can actually rotate it around so you could have it like this with the with the back facing you, with the back sort of pad facing you like this, or you can have it like that, or you can have it like this. So there's multiple different ways you can configure your knuckle grip. Of course the default is this one. And once you confirm the way you want to put it on, just lock it down, and that holds very, very tightly, so you don't have to worry about the handle part coming off. But of course, you do have to make sure that you secure the lock down by making sure that it that it clicks like that when it's pushed down all the way. So now to attach this to your sparking launcher, what you do is you take this little cap right here, 
pop it off. Slide your launcher in. I uh, actually put it on like this, I believe. Wait, does it work with this launcher? It should, in theory, work with it. Unless I'm doing it wrong. Hold on. Okay, never mind. I was just not pushing it in enough. All right, so you push it in, it will snap into place, and then you just take your grip and snap it on. And then bombs away. Now you got your hand right there holding it. Yes, there is a little cut on my hand. So that was from a uh, that was not from a Beyblade related incident. That was I was opening a box up with a scissor, and the scissor tripped a little bit and nicked me. That's where that if so that's the story of where that came from. Anyway, <laughs> so what you do is you pull the ripcord like that, and again you can launch your bay, and it does have a nice again the sparklers will make contact with the sparking disc inside a little sparkler disc, thus making it do the sparks. So pretty pretty cool. Ah jeez, now I have to get it out of the grip. It is very secure in there. I will give it that. But there you go, got out of there pretty easy. So now to go over the cons with the sparking launcher and why this may not be your ideal choice to get this. And uh, the reason, and, and you know, and to give you another option to consider when getting the sparking launcher from Takara, is that one, the sparking launchers actually have a tendency to break very, very easily, these launchers. I've heard multiple complaints, even on Amazon, saying that these launchers break within a day. They, they've broken within a couple weeks of use. It's, it's really a, a big issue because in, may, in the most... And the, and the problems mostly stem from the string because of the material, the sort of nylon material that they use for the string and because of how heavy the sparking bays are, um, it puts a lot of stress on the string and it's very easy for the string to break and fray, thus, you know, exposing the inner string, which thus can get caught or worse, it can snap, and then that's it. Your launcher is kind of is kind of is kind of screwed up from there. And the only really way to fix that is, of course, to go in and repair it. And even that can be a bit risky. So that's something to consider when getting the sparking launchers. Another issue that I've seen with these is that is that sometimes the strings don't even break, but the internal gear systems will wear down. So they'll wear down, and thus the launches will not be as powerful, and the bays will be a little more sluggish upon launch. So that's something else to consider. And, yeah, um, and of course there's the obvious risk of the string getting tangled and various other things. So again, there's a lot of different factors to go in when considering getting a sparking launcher. As nice as they are, and as beautiful as they are with their, with their nice details and the sparking gimmick, it's a shame that they have so many breakage issues and so many little issues that keep them from being truly perfect. And, and the worst offender of all, most of the Beyblade Burst Sparking, uh, not just Sparking launchers, but the entire series' of launchers, string launchers that have ever been released by Takara, all of them have had breakage issues. All of them. If, on varying occasions. And for some reason, Takara just can't seem to make durable launchers. I just don't understand. They make the bays durable, but the launchers are... are kind of delicate and crap it's just like what's going on here and i wish i had my other launchers that i bought in the past to compare it to because i had the Bibli bruce god lr launchers the red one i had the special edition one that came with chosie achilles i had all these different launchers and they all broke and it's really a shame because they were really really good launchers but then they just all broke and and it's just a real shame so, and the worst part of all of it is that even with the newest season, Beyblade Burst Dynamite Battle, they still have not fixed the launcher issue. It's really ridiculous. I don't know, I don't know what's going on over there at, at Takara Tomi, but they better uh, straighten this out. Whether it's a revision or just, or, just, or just adding metal teeth, maybe making a stronger string. I don't know what they need to do, but whatever they need to do, they better do it soon because... Because uh, it's because I've seen ridiculous, ridiculous stories from people who have just bought multiple, multiple launchers, and I'm one of them who's bought multiple string launchers in the past.
past, whether it's from a set or or on its own, or whatever the case may be, that just break. And it's really a shame. And especially with these sparking launchers, considering their core gimmick is the sparking gimmick, which is really, really neat because no other launcher had a sparking function before until this. It's just really, really a bummer. So, um, but before I end this review, I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how the sparking launcher would actually work. So what you would do is you would take your bay like Super Hyperion here, take it there slap it on the bottom twist it and that will hold it in and then what you do is then you just pull the string and the bay will spin off it will come off of the launcher and then it will drop down into the stadium easy as that and what's nice about these string launchers is that they're they're fast they're reliable and most importantly you don't have to worry about putting the ripcord in every time because it just goes in on its own via a spring-loaded mechanism inside that just pulls the string right back in so that's pretty much it for this review on the Beyblade Burst Sparking B165 Spar uh, right sparking launcher uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the Sparking Launcher. Have you guys had any issues with the Sparking Launchers? Have you guys had to buy multiple copies and they just keep breaking over and over? Just let me know in the comments what you guys think there on the Sparking Launcher. But with that being said, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this review. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And with that being said, uh, please stay tuned for part two of this review, which will be the left sparking launcher. Later, Reed Squad, and have a good one.